ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, John the Tank Mercanti. John Mercanti, four and two with two KOs, hailing from Brantford, Ontario. He's 27 at five foot 10, is 197 pounds. So this is a cruiserweight division fight and two young fighters that really are gonna start figuring things out as time goes on. You'll see Mercanti coming out of the back. We are right, await for Kenny's arrival. And another former pro fighter in the squared circle will be calling this one. Donovan Boucher, yeah, I love, I love Donovan. Donovan's a good guy, I've known him for a while now. You know, he's a funny dude. You ever know a lot him? about boxing. You ever been in the ring with him? You, you know what? Spartan partner? Actually, I got a couple good stories with Donovan. Now, we were in the Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe, yeah. that boxing movie, and uh, and me and him got to do some sparring in the background against each other, and it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Very cool. Yeah. Here comes Mercandy into the ring. Like I said, he's a big guy at 5'10". Very thick upstairs, Michelle. Yeah, and you know, two of his four wins have come via KO, and his two losses have come via the knockout as well. When you're a fighter, Tibor, and you see a guy's record, I know it's just numbers on a page, but when you see something like that, does that give you a little bit of a glimpse of hope as well and, uh, you know, give you maybe a little bit of a different game plan when you're in preparation for a fight? Yeah, for me, in my experience, not really. I didn't really look at the records. Uh, you know, the, the records can be deceiving, um, but at the same time, you know, you got to stick to your game plan. Think about what you got to be doing and not what the other guy's got to be doing. If you can stick to that, then I think this fight's going to go a lot smoother for yourself. Absolutely. And you look at the upper body of Mercanti, and Mercanti is called the tank for a reason. Here's Thomas Driver. And now let's welcome to the ring, fighting tonight out of the red corner, Shalar Joshua Henry. Here comes Brampton's own Shavar Henry. We saw his pro debut. He was knocked down a couple of times, but I had a chance to talk to him yesterday, and he said he learned thousands of things from that fight, and this will be a different one. He said being the first fight on the card last time in his pro debut was very unnerving to him. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, uh, you know, even I was there and I watched the fight. Uh, they didn't look like very drastic bad knockdowns. He got up right away, you know, we'll call him flash knockdowns again. A lot of sign of just nerves and, you know, he, again, I think he's right when he say he can learn from them. The guy's a great athlete. I've known him a little while and uh, I think he could turn it around. Yeah, you know what, Doug, in that fight, when he did experience those knockdowns, he came back and we almost thought that he could have pulled off that win against Lyndon Chambers because they really went toe-to-toe -to -toe yep. in those latter rounds. And we looked at one of those knockdowns like it was almost a slip. slip. Yeah. Not to take anything away from him, though, he's definitely lost the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues with four rounds scheduled show. in the cruiserweight division. And it is being brought to you by United Boxing Promotions in association with Title Fight Promotions, along with their great sponsors, Everlast, IFC Transport, and Tire Discounter. Our three judges scoring on a 10-point must system will be Kelly Zolmierczyk, Martin Delita, and Alan Davis. When the bell rings, our referee in charge the third man in the ring will be Donovan Boucher. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, he's wearing black trunks with white trim and weighed in at 197 pounds. Coming to us from Brantford, Ontario, 
He brings a professional record consisting of four wins, two defeats, one draw, with two of his four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John the Tank Mercanti. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing red trunks with black trim and weighed in at 199 and a half pounds. Hailing from Brampton, Ontario, his record consists of no wins and just one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Shavar Joshua Henry. Instruction and change the room. I want a good clean fight. Put the punches above the waist, waistline here. Waistline here. Watch the back of the head, guys. It's a good clean fight. Good luck to both of you. Yeah. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready. You think? <laughs> you look at the clean in both of their eyes. I'm ready. I love it. This is scheduled for four rounds. Our second fight of the evening in the cruiserweight division. Here's Shavar Henry. And the tail of the tape, John Mercani on your left. Two Shavar. strong guys here throwing big punches. Don't blink. Oh, big left. Knocked there right go. down. Shavar Henry with a huge blow in the first round. A big knockout. Oh, my. Mercani's not moving. Oh, my. Big now left hook. He didn't power. see it. Did not see that left hook coming. No. Gentlemen, I've never been so close to something like that. A good shot. It was a very good shot. I had the uh, opportunity to see Shavar Spar uh, leading up to this fight. He looked very good, but I was not expecting <laughs> this. Well, I just, I said I it right. I don't think a lot of people yeah. were expecting it, were they? I, well, he, he, you mentioned it right off the top, though, Michelle. Mercani's had two knockouts, and he's been knocked out twice. So Henry knew that one big blow could end this thing. How about that, gentlemen? Your first professional win is a knockout like that, so quick, in the first round, in your backyard. Uh, he's got to feel good about it. You know, his last fight was rocky and lost the fight. But this fight, he turned it around. Spectacular performance. Did you notice a huge lift in confidence just watching him coming to the ring and the way the, the fight started? It's good for him. Let's take a look at that huge left again. Great shot, great shot. Looked like a little. Yeah. It's kind of like a little right uppercut up shot followed up by a left hook. Great combination. And that left hook did not miss the mark whatsoever. Boom. Good night. Well, the good thing is that John Mercanti is up, he's on his feet, and he's back in his corner. Let's go to the ring. Here's Thomas Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. 16 seconds of round number one. Your winner by way of knockout, Shalar Joshua Henry. with you here tonight. Man, I learned don't hold my head down and just go for it. You understand me? 
It took me a minute, you know, but my team, I trusted in my team, I trusted in my personal trainer, and you know, I believe in God, and you know, all things are possible. Now, Mercanti has had a few losses, both of them via knockout, so did you know that coming in, that one big shot could maybe put the big guy down? Yeah, um, his last knockout when he fought Milos, uh, I used to spar with him, I was like rounds and rounds on top of rounds and sparring with Milos, so I watched the tape, I seen, you know, and I just came in here and did what I had to do. Finally, how does it feel to have your first professional win via knockout right here in front of family and friends? Awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations again again. A fantastic victory for Shamar Henry, everybody. Give me a couple of thoughts on this knockout again. It happened so quickly. Just 16 seconds in to the opening round and a nice combination put together. Yeah, I, well, I saw that it was, a, it was a right uppercut, left hook. If you look at, if you look at the replay, when it comes, Shivari was a lot more tighter. His, his combination was, it was more tighter than, uh, than his opponents, and, and that's why it landed better. The guy with the tighter, shorter distance between the two, he's gonna land the better shot. Let's go to break, and we're coming back with our third fight of the night. It's Alexander and Cronin. Stay with us, more of Championship Box to come. Let's look at that knockout one more time.